Huh? Why is the Leaning Tower of Pisa not falling? Firstly, the Leaning Tower of Pisa doesn't fall because a line drawn from the tower's center of gravity to the ground passes through its base. Hmm. Secondly, the relationship between the tower's height and rigidity and the softness of the soil keeps the tower from falling. Hmm. Lastly, the long construction delays allowed the ground to become compact and the structure to settle, thus making the tower's foundation stronger over time. Hmm. What is the main cause of stuttering? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc., thus allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm. How exactly do our muscles grow? Firstly, for muscle growth, we need to apply stress, which is greater than what our muscles are used to. This leads to mTOR and satellite cell activation. Both are responsible for muscle growth. <laughs> hmm. Secondly, when one feels sore after a workout, one may be experiencing localized muscle damage. This leads to the activation of satellite cells, which are said to be responsible for muscle growth. Hmm. Lastly, pump training, as in doing repetitions at a fast speed with short rest intervals causes metabolic stress. Metabolic stress causes cell swelling around the muscles, thus making them appear larger. Hmm. What causes people to be allergic? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead huh? starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Do plants really poop? Firstly, some plants get rid of their waste material by peeling off their bark, as well as by shedding off their leaves. Secondly, some plants get rid of their waste material in the form of secretions, such as latex, gum, resin, etc. Thirdly, some plants remove their excess water through tiny pores present on the margins of their leaves. This process is called guttation. Lastly, carnivorous plants like Venus flytrap catch insects, extract their juices, and then open up, thus allowing the waste material to fall off. Hmm.